Hi beauties, our vlog topic today is practical tips for dealing with stress. So if you have ever felt stressed out, you are stressed out now, you are looking for some stress relief, raise your hand. And I am sure myself included that we are all raising our hand right now, even mentally, because we have such busy lives and there's so much going on. So I wanna go through, let's dive right into some amazing research and tips for helping you and your body feel more resilient against stress. And the reason we care so much is that there's so much research really correlating stress with very detrimental effect on our bodies, our organs, on promoting stress hormones like cortisol, which we know can break down the collagen in our skin and contribute to belly fat. Uh, there is a a uh, study from 2017 that scientists claim that chronic stress is linked to all sorts of disease and health issues, including allergies and asthmas and irritable bowel syndrome. So stress very much does affect our digestion, which we know is key to elevating if we want to be in our truest beauty and we want to feel our most well and our most energetic. So my first practical tip for dealing with stress is to incorporate more adaptogens into your life. Adaptogens are these incredible intelligent plants that adapt to your body literally and help your body deal with stress. A lot of these come from Ayurvedic medicine and traditional Chinese medicine. So they're ancient and they've been used for millennia by these ancient medicinal systems to really help protect people and to fortify their bodies against stress. Now these days we have more stress than ever from overscheduling, overworking, and of course all the chemicals and all the unnatural compounds in our water supply and food supply and environment. So adaptogens are even more important than ever to add in. I'll list a few such as maca, ashwagandha, reishi mushrooms, ginseng, if you can put these in tea, you can even cook with some of them. You can add them to smoothies like maca. If you're interested in learning more about how to get stress relief from using adaptogens, we have a whole adaptogen series that we did somewhat recently, and we will link to them in the transcript below. My next practical tip is meditation. As you know, I am a huge fan of meditation and I think it's an important practice that we incorporate regularly in the morning as part of our morning routine and ideally also in the evening as part of our calm down evening routine. There is more and more research even, which is super exciting, emerging about meditation, including this study from JAMA, Internal Medicine Journal, founding that meditation helped in stress-related conditions and reducing overall levels of psychological stress. So yes, the ancient wisdom and techniques are being studied now in a modern context, which is amazing. My next tip is really dialing in your diet. Diet has a huge effect, you guys, on helping to reduce our stress levels. The food that we put in our mouth doesn't just affect us physically, it also affects our gut health, our emotional well-being, our moods. Everything is a cycle, everything is so interrelated. So alkalizing foods like spinach, lemon, both in our GGS, as well as avocado with healthy fats, also helps to fight inflammation, can help your body deal with stress. And we really want to avoid refined sugar, high fructose corn syrup, and junk food, which contributes to inflammation in our body and can actually exacerbate conditions and symptoms of stress. So you want to make sure that you're eating whole foods, you're eating simple, you're nourishing yourself, and this in and of itself is anti-stress. My fourth tip is stretching in yoga. Also a huge fan of yoga, of course. There was a study from the Complementary Therapies and Medicine that found that one hour only of yoga per week over the course of 10 weeks was found to reduce stress and anxiety and improved mental health over relaxation alone. So you can do a little bit of yoga at home. We have some yoga tutorials on YouTube or you can check out our yoga DVD or just get out your mat and just feel your body incorporate some basic poses, go to a yoga class locally, but just get in there. Again, only one hour a week is super beneficial. And my last tip is friends and community. A study published by the American Psychological Association found that friends lowered cortisol levels and increased feelings of self-worth. So finding a supportive community is super important to our well-being. One of the reasons I created the Saluna Circle is to go deep and to talk about how we how we feel and practices foods 
around a monthly theme and um, to use these practices to better ourselves, to know ourselves better and to improve our health and well-being. Part of that is a community where we share and we talk and I post videos and people have comments and we really go deep together. And I think it's just a wonderful way to help ourselves heal and to connect. So you can check it out. We'll link to it in the transcript below. Otherwise, I am excited for you to try some of these tips. Let me know which ones will help you with your stress, help you feel better in your body. The main thing is small, simple steps applied consistently can add up to big results. So thank you so much, beauties, for tuning in to today's vlog. I will see you next week. Till then, sending you lots and lots of love.